Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to go over my method and recipe for making crusting cookie buttercream icing. Now this is a buttercream icing that you're gonna be able to pipe on your cookie and let it dry and it crusts hard enough for you to be able to handle and package, but when you bite into it, it's still that luscious, silky, creamy buttercream that you, you're looking for. Now, with that being said, because it does not dry as hard as royal icing, you could still potentially damage this cookie. If your toddler jumps up on the counter and wants to stick his finger into the petals, guess what? It's going to crush. But it packages just fine to be able to ship your cookies. Now, to go ahead and make this icing, I went ahead and made a batch, but I'm gonna walk you through the pot process. Let's talk about the butter we use. Now, I use one pound of butter in this recipe, but I use unsalted butter. Why do I do that? All of, I don't know if you'll notice, but all of my recipes I use all have unsalted butter for one reason. Different companies add different amounts of salt and different types of salt to their butter. Well, I like to buy whatever butter's on sale. So, and I'm very forgetful. I don't want to have to remember which brand I liked and which brand I didn't. So, I stick to unsalted butter and let you control the salt content. If you like using a particular brand of salted butter, go for it. If you try this recipe and it's a little too sweet, try a little sprinkle of, un of uh, fine salt to your recipe. But that's your call. But for this recipe, we're gonna need one pound, which is four sticks or two cups, of unsalted, room temperature, so soft, butter, you're gonna go ahead and put that into your mixer with a paddle attachment. But before you start mixing, go ahead and add two tablespoons of corn syrup, three teaspoons of extract, your choice. Remember, this flavoring you get to play with, so you can change the flavoring to whatever you like. If you wanna make lemon, strawberry, go for it to match your cookies. But for this purpose, we're gonna use three teaspoons of vanilla extract. And if you're familiar with my recipes, all of my base icings have a teaspoon of white gel color. Now you're gonna mix those ingredients together until they're really super silky, smooth, and luscious. It will look a little funky at first. It'll look a little congealed but keep mixing it and it'll start getting luscious and smooth and creamy and it'll look dreamy just without the sugar. It's beautiful. Now, the reason we use corn syrup, there are so many recipes out there and I tried them all. I tried them all. And I settled on this recipe because I really felt like my butter and my powdered sugar needed something in between. If it wasn't gonna have milk, cream, or water, it needed something to bring the two together because they were too different. Well, lo and behold, when I used the corn syrup, boy, did it make a creamy, creamy transition into a lush buttercream. That's why I use it. <laughs> so you're gonna mix it until it gets that nice creaminess. Then we're gonna add you're gonna scrape down your bowl, then we're gonna add all two pounds of powdered sugar. So this recipe, just like some of my others, I keep it simple for you. So you're gonna use a full two pound bag, put it in there and mix it up all together. Now, I noticed my powdered sugar wanted to go all over the place, so I covered this with plastic wrap before I started mixing. Just a little tip for you. But if you keep watching as it's mixing, it will look a little dry and crumbly. Remember, 
Good things come to those who wait. So if you just let that mix for about three minutes, you'll notice at all of a sudden, it will start to get this silky consistency, this dreamy consistency. So you're gonna let it mix for three minutes and you're done. So guys, it's one consistency. Look at how beautiful and luscious and creamy and dreamy that buttercream is. It's like silk, but I only need this one consistency. You will never have to thin this down or thicken it. This makes gorgeous flowers and it pipes like a dream. So you can write with this, you can cover a cookie and like a plaque, or you can make flowers. So I wanted to show you real quickly. You can see here, I started a flower for you, but in my bag, I have found that my bags, that this icing is too strong, too stiff to use just a bag. You have to use tips with this, or I recommend using tips with this buttercream icing. So on here, I have a 103, which is a petal tip from, I think it's a Wilton petal tip. And I am just making petals right directly on to the cookie. Now, obviously I'm a little sloppy because I'm trying to do a demo, <laughs> but you get the gist. So that's how you put a rose on your cookie directly. Now, we can let this dry. And what I found was anything that's thick like this needs two days to dry. But don't worry about your cookie being out for two days because that buttercream keeps that cookie really soft and moist during that time, but yet still crusts on the top. Now, I used some cookies and I just made like a flat plaque. Now, those dried overnight in probably 24 hours, not 48. But you will have to play around with the timing because it really depends on the environment in which you're in. I am in very humid, hot Florida. So these took a little longer to dry, but I'm assuming out in arid Arizona, it would dry much faster. Guys, this is the recipe to store this. It's super simple. It's the same as all of the other recipes. You're gonna kind of, it's shelf stable, just like this out on your counter. These cookies will be good five to seven days at room temperature. Not as long as a royal icing, because remember, you're still working with butter in here. But seven to 10 days on the shelf, room temperature, three weeks, you can store buttercream in the fridge or three months. Have I extended that? Of course, you can do it a little longer. Sometimes you can get away with it. But you will always have to, after storing your buttercream or any of these icings, all icings, if you store your icing for any length of time, you are always going to have to remix it. So just know that as it sits in the fridge, it's perfectly good. It just gets a little kind of fluffy in the fridge. But once you remix it, it goes right back to silk. All right, guys, let me know what you think. This stuff is amazing. I love that it's a one and done. You don't have to change consistencies, but you can freeze the cookies with it on it. You can ship them. They're amazing. So let me know what you think. Subscribe to my channel, like the video, give me your questions, please, and have fun with it. Let me, let me see those creations. I love sharing this cookie journey with you. Take care, guys. Thanks.